Is it, I don't think that it's quite correct. A moratorium is a first step to the treaty with controls and inspection. You can't, I'm saying, you can't have uh, easily controls from tomorrow. I'm saying you have to work them out. We want a treaty as soon as possible with inspection, controls and all that. But the point is that uh, during this intervening period, we thought that uh, the moratorium should apply. The sooner the treaty comes, the better. It's rather an odd question to put. To put why should it necessarily lead to the security of the United States being affected? I mean, the other ways of, uh, of protecting that, I don't know, I'm not an expert. But I think, basically, this kind of procedure is likely to have harmful results. I mean, say, it becomes something, one following the other, the other following, it goes on. Have the treaty as soon as possible have some kind of inspection even during the moratorium period, if you can arrange it. May I ask you, sir, uh, w how soon you think uh, the People's Republic of China will have nuclear weapons? Do you have any information on that? I have no information about that. All kinds of vague rumors to that effect. Some say in ten years, some in two years. I don't know. Well, do you think the situation is such that, that uh, the People's Republic of China should be brought into some kind of negotiations over a test ban treaty, a moratorium, or controls? In any treaty, um, the People's Republic of China has to be brought in, because the treaty will not be very helpful if a large territory like that, which might later possess nuclear weapons, is not brought in. That is obvious. How to bring it in is a different matter. And I imagine it would be possibly more difficult to bring it in if it is not represented in the United Nations. But well, it may be done, perhaps, I don't know.